Hi, so today we'll be solving the coding bat method cat dog. And this basically asks you to return true if the, the number of times the words cat and dog appear in a given string are the exact same. So here we can see, we can look at these three example problems. Cat, the word cat dog returns true because cat and dog each appear once. Cat cat is false because cat appears twice while dog appears zero times. And then one cat one cat dot dog returns true because you can see there's one cat and one dog. So the way you solve this method is pretty much almost exactly like the previous method, which is string to count high. So you should check that video out if you haven't done that yet. Now, the way you want to do solve this method is first by creating the method, and we'll call it cat dog, which takes in a given string. Once you do that, we'll create two param well, we'll create two variables and we'll call it cat, cats, and dogs. This will basically hold the number of times each word is stored inside the string. Now, we just have to run through the string to check for those words. The good thing about this problem is that cat and, cat and dog are both three-letter words, which basically saves us a lot of work. We can create one for loop to check for cat and dog. Now, see here, just like in the previous, previous example, we have to run the for loop and stop it early because and in this case we have to stop it two characters early. This is because cat and dog are three character words. So instead of stopping at G, we stop at D, for example, in this first string. And we need to we need to save space for two extra characters to check for the full three letter word dog and cat as well. Okay, so we run through the array by we run through the string by creating a for loop. Once you do that, we need to check if the word is the word we're looking for. So we'll create a substring from x to x plus three, index wise, and check if that word is equal to cat. Then we add one to cat. If not, we check it if the word is dog. And if it is, then we add one to dogs. If not, we don't really need to do anything because we'll be moving on inside the for loop anyways. Now, once we finish the for loop, make sure you indent out of it and just return if cats is equal to dogs. Now, if this is true, then it'll return true. And if it's false and cats is not equal to dogs, it'll return false. Invalid syntax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, my bad. There we go. Boom. 